And to think they used to call Denver a cow town. Well, we happily accept the title this time of year, don't we? Horses and their cowboys and cowgirls paraded through downtown to kick off the annual National Western Stock Show. Our Kelly Worthman put on her boots and Carhartt. And Kelly, we know it's big business, also big fun. <laughs> You know what, Jim, if it weren't for my big coat, you'd also see my nice big belt buckle. But I still got my boots on tonight. Now, in all seriousness, the stock show is a great economic impact for Denver. About $100 million comes in in just 16 days. But really, all of Colorado and even people around the world look forward to the stock show every year. Cattle and Cowboys parading in downtown Denver, the official kickoff for the National Western Stock Show. I believe that's the biggest parade of all time. This weekend, the 112th annual event kicks into high gear with rodeos, mutton busting, horse shows, and more. We have about 20 acres of shopping that people can enjoy. Setup for the big event is still underway, including a few new exhibits this year. We also have a dairy discovery zone this year at Stock Show where kids can come see exactly exactly how that milk gets from the cow over into your King Supers. As many animals are prepped for what's considered the Super Bowl of stock shows, <laughs> families from nearly all 50 states are gearing up for more than just Western entertainment. This is pretty much business and it's kind of an advertising so people will buy like our product. The Parkinson family from Texas will show their cattle during the 16-day event. Ten-year-old Tucker is ready for the junior competition. We tried to set them up in the right spot to make the judge think our cows look good. And with a good scrub and extra fluff, these animals look good and ready for one of Colorado's favorite traditions. Also new this year, there is free parking and 1,000 free parking spots. That's additional to what they had last year. So that's a help to all the people who are going to be flooding here this weekend. It starts on Saturday and runs through the 21st. Live in Denver, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First.